Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Good morning. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March 28, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. We'll have a nice and warm day across central Alabama today, but storms move in late tonight through the overnight hours. We may have a strong storm or two, but the much larger threat will be well north of the area. More on that in just a moment. I am recording this video just after midnight, so all of my latest data that I'm using was out at or before midnight on Friday night. We'll start off with high temperatures across central Alabama on Friday. We were in the 80s across the area with Montgomery leading the way at 88 degrees. The cool spots were Alexander City, Sylacauga, and Auburn all reporting 82 degrees. Birmingham topped out at 84 degrees. One item of note, Aniston's high of 84 degrees tied the record high set back in 1994. There is a moderate risk of severe storms up for such locations in Illinois such as Aurora, Joliet, and Peoria, along with Davenport, Iowa. An enhanced risk is up for such locations as Chicago, Rockford, Springfield, and Elgin, Illinois, along with Cedar Rapids, Iowa. A significant severe weather outbreak is expected this afternoon and evening. Threats include tornadoes, a few of which may be significant, large to very large hail, and severe wind gusts. We may catch the tail end of that down here in central Alabama, but the threats will be much less as the better dynamics and forcing will be well removed from our neck of the woods. I'll get into that in a little more in just a second. No watches and warnings are up for anywhere in north central Alabama, and it should stay that way through the day today as it should stay rather quiet. We may have to watch later tonight and into the overnight hours though. Rainfall from now through midday Friday looks to range from just over three quarters of an inch in the southeast to nearly two inches in the northwest. Much of that will come late Monday night through Tuesday. All right, let's take a look at the 0 run of the GFS valid today at 1 p.m. A cold front will be progressing towards central Alabama and will actually enter the northwest corner of the state during the late night and into the overnight hours tonight. There will be a decent amount of instability that will be sufficient for rain and thunderstorms along and ahead of the front. The good news is that the instability will be dropping at, with time as we lose the heating of the day, so the storms will be weakening as they enter the state. The bad news is that there will be enough left over that a few strong to severe storms will be possible over the north and northwestern counties. A slight risk for severe storms is up for locations north of a line from just north of Detroit and Lamar County to Decatur in Morgan County, to Newmarket in Madison County. A marginal risk stretches to the south and east of that to as far south as just north of Geiger in Sumter County, to Kimberly in Jefferson County, to just east of Eider in DeKalb County. Isolated damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and hail up to one inch in diameter may be possible in the risk locations. A brief tornado may be possible in the slight risk locations as the better dynamics and forcing will be just a tad closer to that area. Before all of the action, much of the day on Saturday will be great and very warm. We'll start off with some clouds, but clearing will occur by the afternoon hours and we'll have a good supply of sunshine. Clouds will move back in around or just after sunset. Afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 80s for most across central Alabama. I wouldn't be surprised if someone hits 90 degrees in the southern or southeastern parts of the area. We'll have some lingering rain and a thunderstorm or two left over during the morning hours on Sunday as the cold front continues to move out of the area. By midday, all of central Alabama will be dry and we'll get some good breaks in the clouds. Unfortunately, skies will not clear out all of the way before sunset and clouds will begin to move back in during the night. Highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s across the area from northwest to southeast. Nearly all of the daylight hours on Monday across the area will be dry, but skies will remain mostly cloudy as a low will be sliding eastward towards central Alabama. Showers and thunderstorms will begin moving into the western parts of the area during the evening and nighttime hours. Nothing strong or severe is expected at this, at this time. Highs will be in the upper 60s to the lower 80s across the area from northwest to southeast. 
At sunrise on Tuesday, the low will be centered over the Mississippi River at the southeastern parts of Arkansas and the northwestern parts of Mississippi. The low will eventually move through the northern parts of the area throughout the morning and into the early afternoon hours, bringing rain and thunderstorms to the area. The good news is that we are not expecting a big severe weather event with this system, but a strong to briefly severe storm is not out of the question. Much of the activity will be out of the area by sunset, but a leftover shower or two may be possible for a few hours longer. Highs will be in the upper 60s to the upper 70s. Wednesday will be a fantastic day with mostly clear skies and highs in the mid 60s to the lower 70s from northwest to southeast. Maybe a few more clouds on Thursday, but skies will be partly cloudy and will remain dry with cool temperatures. Highs will be in the mid 60s to the lower 70s. A wash and repeat forecast for Friday as we'll have partly cloudy skies and highs in the mid 60s to the lower 70s. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out bright and early on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.